hello guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this animating act text at the top right corner of this web landing page right here as you can see the act text rotates 360 degree infinitely and it's really simple to create you can also see the auto typing text at the left side of this header section um this is a tutorial i made few days ago um, if you're also interested, you can click on the link to watch the video for this auto typing text animation. So, guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you get more videos like this. So, let's get started. The first thing you are going to try to do is to try to create this act text before animating it. So, I'm going to just go ahead to type in my text. From the text i'm going to be using and i also want to install a plugin that we're going to use to make the act text so i'm going to go to um plugins community and i'm going to search for arc which is arc um you're going to see a couple of arc text plugin but i just want to use this first one up here and i'm going to go ahead to install it once i'm done installing this arc plugin I'm going to go back to my designs and I just made some adjustment to the text. I changed the context and the and the style of the text that I created. So to make it an arc, you're going to select the text in which you want to make an arc. Then you're going to go to the arc plugin, go to plugins and arc. Here I'm just going to set the bench strength to 95%. Um you can adjust the percentage to suit the length of the text you're trying to make an arc but for this 95 percent is perfect so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw a frame around this um arc text that i just generated with our plugin i created a frame around it and i'm just going to position its content to the middle i also want it to be outlined because the arc text also expanded our text so i'm going to remove the fill and make it outline I'm also going to create a duplicate and then I'm going to change the angle of this next duplicate um, to a minus 90 degree. So I'm going to change, please note that you're only changing the angle of the content which is the group in the frame. So I'm going to duplicate again and for this next one I'm going to use 180 degree and I'm going to create another duplicate and I'm going to click on its content inside and for this i'm going to be using 90 degrees then i'm going to create one more duplicate which i'm going to revert back revert back to zero degrees which is going to have the same states as the initial frame that we have so we have all our frames and we've properly set the angle i'm going to select everything and i'm going to hit on set create component sets I'm also going to select all of them and remove the white fill from the frame. The next thing we're going to do is to start prototyping the interactions between this frame. I'm going to set the first interaction to the second variant. I'm going to set it to one millisecond. It's going to be an after delay of one millisecond. And I'm going to set a smart anime, smart animate with a linear animation. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the second animation after delay one millisecond um smart animate linear and it's going to be 500 millisecond so i'm going to repeat this same step for all the frames except the very last frame because the last frame and the first frame has the same state so what i'm going to do is i'm going to transition from the last state to the first state um on an after delay of one millisecond and i want it to be instant so that it just switches back to the first frame and rotates without us noticing the switch so this is it guys if you've done this you have your 360 infinite rotation for your act text animation i'm just going to remove the initial text that is there and i'm going to create um, an instance of this component we just created so let's quickly test it out to see if it gives us the exact animation we want 
so as you can see guys this is what we want but it's not properly positioned and it's a little too large on the screen so i'm going to go back to the designs and make a little adjustment the first thing i'm going to do is to select all the frames and i want to scale all of them down simultaneously so i'm going to hit k on the keyboard and i'm going to hold and drag them in to reduce the size i can also hold and drag the whole component in to reduce the size and to revert this i'm going to hit v on the keyboard to revert the scaling back to the normal scaling functions so i'm going to go back to our instance and i'm going to position it properly now it's looking small and nice and we can go back to our prototype and see that this works perfectly just like the way we want so guys this is really simple i hope you guys understand and enjoy the video um please also don't forget to like and subscribe um turn on the notification bell to get more videos like this bye and i'll see you in my next video